Hey guys, it's Amelia here, the Enthusiast Dakota, and today I have a really cool video, but before I get into it, have you ever wondered if the Raspberry Pi Pico is good enough? Especially compared to the competitors like Arduino and its newer, younger sibling, the Raspberry Pi Pico W? Well, I'm going to answer that question and answer, is the Raspberry Pi Pico good in 2022? So let's get into it. Also, before we get into this video, please like and subscribe because it actually really helps all my hard work pay off. Now let's get into it. Now, to understand how good the Raspberry Pi Pico is in 2022, we first need to understand the price. Now, the price for Raspberry Pi Pico is only 65 Rand, and this is the conversions in dollars and pounds. Now, that is shockingly cheap. It's amazing because this is a really powerful microcontroller, even though it has such a little price. It's really amazing. Now, when you compare it to other microcontrollers like Arduinos and the newer, later Raspberry Pi Picos, you'll see that this one is so much better. And that's a really good factor for why you should buy it and why I think it's really good to use in, um, in 2022. Okay, so now when you want to buy one of these Raspberry Pi boards, there's actually three different options you can buy. You can buy the standard option, which just is a normal board by itself, without any pins to plug into a breadboard. Or you can have the one with the pins, which obviously costs more money. And you can have a third option, which is where you just only get the processor. And this is good if you want to solder stuff on. So when you want to use projects, but not with all the extra added features that this that the board brings, such as a USB port and all the other features. Now, this is obviously cheaper, and that's probably why people would want to go for this when they're making proper projects. Also, keep in mind that this board is way more powerful than the Arduino itself. Now, I'm not exactly sure about this, but I do know that this this board is very powerful looking at the different comparisons that was made to it. This is so powerful that you can run NES and Game Boy games on it. And I know that's very low powered, but keep in mind a microcontroller that is tiny, tiny, tiny can run console level games. Obviously it was 8-bit, but it's so good that it can even run games like that. Comment down below if you want me to test one of those. And speaking on that note, the Raspberry Pi Pico has so many peripherals and different things that you can add to this. It's really, really cool. You can add so many different modules, like the one that I just mentioned right now, and you can add so many different components like buttons, LEDs, you name it, honestly. And obviously, almost every single microcontroller does that like even the micro bit that I used to do. <laughs> but it's just really cool that this form factor and this price tag, you're still able to do all of those things. Because keep in mind, the micro bit costs probably two or three times way more than that. And keep in mind, this thing came out in 2021. And now that just shows that there's going to be so much support for this. And the support for this is so much already. Keep in mind that the Raspberry Pi 4 lineup came out in 2018 and is expected to be supported until at least 2026, January 2026. That is over eight years. And we will be waiting for anything upwards of 2029. That is a very, very long time. And I'm very glad about it. It's cheap, it does so well, it's so powerful, and it just has so many pros that you would want. And also, not trying to be biased or anything, but anything that's by Raspberry Pi is actually pretty good, and they're kind of like the apple of these kind of things, so you should kind of look out for that. And yes, that is the entire video. Like I said, I really do think you should buy this especially the first model because the first model is the best model it's cheaper it's more powerful and even though the raspberry pi pico w has a bit more features actually go back to my shorts where i talk about it the release video 
that explains everything about the Pico W. But it's just that this is like so much cheaper than that one and you only miss a few features that you don't really need to be honest with you. So yeah, it's just awesome. Also comment down below if you want me to do a video where I kind of do like a series where I use these um, different components with the Pico. I think that'd be pretty cool, but just comment down below if you want me to do something like that. And also, I kind of changed my background here. This is very temporary. At the end of the year, I am going to change it and make it look very, very professional. Because I'm trying to be more professional with all my YouTube videos. And yeah, I just kind of made it below so you can actually see the entire picture. I don't think everyone, anyone's seen the entire picture before. But here it is now. Um, I'll actually leave so that you can see it in all its glory. Thank you to my sister who actually made it. <laughs> but yeah, if you like the video, please like and subscribe if you want to. And remember, have a good day. Peace.